problem. Worry. <laughs> no. Hello Dragons, my name is Rory McGuire. I'm from Bracebridge, Ontario. And I'm a high school student at St. Andrews College. Today I'm asking for $200,000 for 45% of my company, the Breathe Bank. Now I'm a hockey player, and I love to play hockey. But when it comes to tournaments, and you have a second game, there's not much time to air your gear in between games. That gross repulsive equipment is just unbearable. <laughs> so, the idea behind the Breathe Bag, it's a system to air out that bag. So it's an insert that fits in any size hockey bag with an 80 CFM motor fan with a distribution process that circulates the air about five times per minute, allowing you to air your gear while it's in the bag under two hours. So come with some of the perks for this is that it's lightweight, it's removable, it's very versatile, and as you can tell, it's very noise resistant, as you can barely hear it right now as it is working. Yes. So does that spread the, 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 the smell all over the house now? <laughs> yeah. Great. That's it. How much does it cost? Um, to put one of these in the bag, originally my idea was to have a hockey bag where you put the fan in the hockey bag, but we figured the insert because the most teams do their own bags, their own custom bags, the insert would work better, so it'd be on top of the price of a hockey bag already, so we'd look at about $60 per product. Have you run by your buddies on the team? Yes, I've uh, actually at school there's a few hockey parents who I ran it by, and they thought it was a jackpot idea, especially the one he has four kids running around playing hockey, so... Is, the, said, ba is the bag big enough to hold Kevin? <laughs> is the bag big enough to hold Kevin? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> a bad today. So, so just so tell me that it, don't you think it would break when you were throwing? Because they throw your hockey bag around yeah. a lot, right? Well, the whole idea behind it is that this is just a prototype. So the ideal would be to have a plastic molding done for it, and there would be a racking system within the bag with a cavity about one inch thick. The air would come up through the man. There'd be mannequins in here where you could place your gear, and it wouldn't be too bad. That's removable, so you can take it out as soon as you're consuming. Does it consume a lot of the space and what's the bag is trying to do is keep all your equipment in and how much? Does it take a third of the space? Out? No, it, it originally did, the original design did, but now it just takes up just very minimal space along the bottom of the bag. We have seen a lot of ideas on the show. This has got to be a gigantic problem because we've seen a lot of ideas that try to solve yeah, this, it, it, but it never something like problem. this, right? It's a big problem. Smelly bag. Really yeah. stinky problem. Really stinky <laughs> problem. I've never seen this. That's the answer, right? I, I don't know if that's the answer to it, but uh, it's a good idea. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be the, uh, I think the cost will kill you. You know, to put that little motor in there and then you've got to plug it in and you've got to do all the, I don't know if they'll... I don't know if the kids, if, if the players care enough. It's more of a mom issue. And then I think that... Well, definitely. Like, by, for the target market, I wouldn't be looking at the older competitive kids. It'd be more relative towards the local kids who are just playing house league, or playing hometown hockey, rep hockey. So the parents are the ones who usually air out the gear for them. and. Do all that stuff for them. It's getting a little small, right? I like the smell. Is that weird? <laughs> what is your distribution strategy? If you manufacture today and you have 10,000 units, how would you sell um, it? Well, a big thing for advertising would be to go to things such as hockey rinks. I know playing my entire life, a lot of well known uh, products now within hockey, they're distributed. When you go to a big tournament, a lot of them will set up booths there, and you can also sublet it to places like Canadian Tire or Sport Check. So try and get a lease with them. Where'd you say you're from? Bridge? Bracebridge. Hey, you just throw the gear outside. It's yeah. cold up there. Exactly. <laughs> Parents probably just want to throw the kids outside, right? Get a little used to I think it's interesting. I kind of think this is an interesting idea. I, I don't... In the prototype stage, it's hard to see how it wouldn't yeah. get broken, but I understand what you're saying. It's early days, so... It's I think, good. You, I think well you need to through. test market it and find out how many people really want it. I have to admit, it's better than the lunchbox idea, but, but I'm not, I'm not going to give it a 10 out of 10, because I just don't know how many people would actually spend another 70 or $80. That's what it costs you to make it, right? Uh, the prototype, yes, just because of the products and pipe I had to use, but if it was a plastic mold, I looked at the research and talked to a few people, and they said it reduced the cost to about less than $20 per bag. It's a hurry.